<sighs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, I'm trying to find the. Hello, how are you? No, he's not out here. There's supposed to be somebody out around this part of the world that's supposed to teach you how to be able to use uh, ancient weapons. And yeah, I'm just kind of enjoying this sadistic bit of fun here. Bahaha. <laughs> um but really, I do need to find that person who trains the around. Hi. Advice. Uh, no worries, Faligar. We've got things pretty much under hand here. Or in hand here. Although I just wish I could know where... How are you? No, he's not there. Yeah, uh, it must be out on this Goblin Island Peninsula or Goblin Peninsula out here. Yeah, I think that's where it is. If memory serves. Fly down close to the ground, and here we are. How are you? Yep. Good show. Okay. Yes. Yes. And then all we just need to do is we need to cast Lloyd's Beacon and head out to Paradise Valley, where Rexilla Van Imp will teach us how to use it with master level proficiency. And as you might be able to tell, already we are doing pretty good with how, how capable we are with classic skill so far. I think that's the way that it works though, is your skill determines whether or not you can do an auto attack right afterwards. I think that's the case, I don't know, don't quote me on that. I'm just taking a stab in the dark at it from what I heard. Greetings and salutations! Yes! Okay. Okay. Yes. Alright, now we are all mastery... <clears throat> I mean, we are all masters of ancient weapons. And I think we're probably going to put the rest of the skills into Blastery, Blaster Master. But yeah. And light magic, because I can. And I guess more into meditation and dark magic, because I can. Let's see. Only 11 more skill points would get him one more rank inside of dark magic mastery. Why not? There we go. That should give us a lot more protection power against the devils, and we are going to need every single bit that we can get. I'm hoping that we have enough to work this all out, but just to make sure, just in case we don't, we are going to read the auto notes for the obelisk message. And the nice thing is, I don't have to open up inside of WordPad because it's all written out right here for us. And I'll just spell it out for you. In the land of the Dragon T. To N to nor B 
Bye. Bye. Far. Nor. East. Lies. The. The. Cash. Of. Of. T. Of V. Six C C C A Cap T Cap De Captain Four, five, six. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just. Give me a second. I. I'll just find it online and read it off to you. It's kind of hard to read it out like that. You know what I mean? Give me one second, folks. I'll be right back. Ah, here we go, folks. The message... Ahem. The message reads, In the land of the dragon, to north by far northeast, lies the cache of the captain neath the weight of the least. Hid for the ship of the sun before her function ceased, lift the stone and you have won. This riddle's puzzle pieced. So, this means we need to head out to... Dragon Sand. And then we need to head to the northeastern part of Dragon Sand. And this also means we are going to be using our laser blasters quite exclusively. There we go. And what is in this fountain anyways? Wait a minute. No, wait. Was that poison? Nope, just 50 hit points temporary. Not sure how temporary that means, but whatever.